This is the Cikarang Polis Plawat line by Agramas, and I may have changed my mind on what I think about it. Agramas' Cikarang Polis Plawat service gets easier for long wait times. Yes, this line seems to run every 30 minutes, both weekday and weekend. However, if you're going from Tangerang to East Jakarta, this is actually the best way to do it. This line starts in Polis Plawat Terminal in Tangerang City, making its way through MH Tamrin, passing by Tang City Mall, entering Serpong Raya, stopping by Gading Serpong Alam Sutra, BSD City, before then stopping in Versailles, where the absolutely divine Soto Kudus Menara is also located, only picking up passengers, because if they also drop passengers there, the Green Uncles might have some strong words on that. The bus then enters the Jakarta Serpong Highway and the first outer ring road, exiting for a moment in Veteran to drop and pick up passengers, entering the highway again, stopping in Pasarobo, entering the highway again, all the way to its easternmost stop in Cikarang. We're not going to review the Cikarang Pasarobo section because I have not used it. A trip from Galing Serpang to Pasarobo would take around 90 minutes to 2 hours depending on traffic and your luck waiting for the bus. It costs around 25,000 rupiah to get from Tangerang to Pasarobo, and you can pay via cash or curious. I'm going to mention the curious price, which has a 5% discount compared to just paying cash. Pricing is based on what I call blocks, so the Polish Veteran block costs 14,250 rupiah, and the Veteran Pasarobo block costs 11,400 rupiah. Once the bus enters the highway, an officer will go to your seat and handle the payment. When using this line, you will get one of two kinds of buses. The first type is the old BRT buses that don't have functional BRT doors because they block the BRT doors with extra seats. These buses have a 2-3 seating layout and is kind of rattly. Legroom is enough, barely. It has similar legroom to the Royal Trans buses, which is both a praise to this line and a critique to the Royal Trans buses. The second kind is the newer buses that look and feel like intercity buses. They have a 2-2 seating layout, good legroom, soft suspension, quiet interior, and again, it's great but also concerning that this regular service feels more luxurious than many premium gear connection in Royal Trans lines. But the main treasure of this line, one that makes this line incredibly valuable, is that it runs all day, every day, Monday to Sunday, morning to evening, though I'm not exactly sure how far into the evening does this line run, in an era where only 9 to 5 commuters are being served, where the only new lines popping up are Monday to Friday, morning to the city, and evening to the suburbs only service, it's great to see something that you can just sort of use anytime you like. Also, Google Maps, or whoever has the authority to edit it, please fix this line. It does not run once an hour, and the buses do stop in Rusun Rempoa. I've tried it myself. I have three recommendations for this line. First is live bus tracking. You can use Google Maps or Mitra Darat, or even a WhatsApp group like those GR connection lines. This line runs every 30 minutes. It would be great if we know where the bus is so that we can minimize time spent waiting in the congested and polluted roads that is Serpong Raya and Pasar Rubo. Agrama should also better promote this line in their social media, giving out information on the operational window, frequency, route, stops, and the price of this line. I suspect a lot of people just don't know that this line exists. The government of South Tangerang should also work on upgrading stops and shelters along Serpong Raya and maybe they could even collaborate with Transport for Jakarta for some nice wayfinding because this is miserable. Right now, I'm giving this line C tier, but with live bus tracking and upgraded stops, this could easily get A tier.